Good morning, Ravenwood Raptors. Welcome to RHS TV. I'm Morgan Powers. I'm Samantha Maggart. And I'm Clay Patterson. We have an exciting newscast for this week. There are many events happening in the upcoming weeks. Juniors, remember April 19th we take the ACT in school, so be prepared with number two pencils, fully charged calculator, an ID, and a snack if you want. Don't forget the spring musical All Shook Up is playing in the RPAC tonight at 7 p.m., tomorrow at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. The last chance to see the play is Sunday at 2 p.m. Make sure to stop by and support your fellow Raptors. It's that time of the year again. The junior class student council has been hard at work planning prom. The junior senior prom will be held on Saturday, April 23rd from 8 p.m. till midnight at the Country Music Hall of Fame on the main floor in Rotunda. The theme is Over the Moon. The night will be filled with a DJ, dancing, games, photo booth, candy, and a popcorn bar. Tickets for the event are $50. The week of April 18th, the price will increase to $60. Tickets will be sold during lunch on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Prom shirts can be purchased separately for $8. Cash and checks made out to RHS are accepted. Just remember, no tickets are sold the night of the event. Please be sure your student has the opportunity to attend this special evening. Awards night is Thursday, April 21st in the RPAC. Come out and support all the students that will be receiving that night. Now, here's an interesting question. Is it acceptable to wear jeans with sandals? Dinesh and Brendan went out looking for the answer to that. I'm Dinesh. And I'm Brendan Phelps. And we're here with RHS TV asking people if they like to the trend jeans and sandals. Kylie, how do you feel about jeans and sandals? Um, I think they look good together. I wear them all the time. I think it looks, do, you think, <laughs> do you think it looks better on guys or females? Girls. Why is that? Um, I don't know. I think sandals on guys is kind of weird. Well, you heard it here first, boys. Clay Patterson, I have a question for you. Okay, so you know the trend jeans and sandals? Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I don't really wear sandals because my feet look weird, but uh, jeans and sandals, if you want to do it, you can. I really don't care. Who looks better, girls or guys? Probably girls. It's completely inappropriate, out of style, and that's all I got. That's, that's the truth, man. I don't, think, I don't like it either that much. I think it looks ghetto. Cabbage, um, I have a question for you. So, do you ever wear jeans and sandals? Um, no, I don't actually own sandals. Why not? Um, because they're not a good use of my money. Do you work? Not currently, no. Then where does your income come from? Um, I get some money for my birthday on for Christmas sometimes and I just save it up. And I'm here with Ashley Hurst and uh, how do you feel about jeans and sandals Ashley? That's awesome. I'm here with Max Raymond. Uh, Max I got a question for you. So do you like the trend jeans with sandals? I do not because say an assailant came out of an alleyway he would be able to easily strike me in my feet area and that would just disable me completely. So no, I prefer shoes to sandals. Wow, that's a really good reason. Well, um, I really appreciate that. But I have one more question for you. Yeah. So who looks better, girls or guys? Definitely women. OK, awesome. Thank you. And I'm with Stephanie Portanova. How are you doing today, Stephanie? Doing well. How about you? I'm doing fantastic. So the new topic this year is if jeans and sandals look good, what do you think? I mean. It depends on like what like kind of jeans, like what kind of sandals it is. Like it could, but like, I don't know, I guess you can if you want to. Word, word. You think it looks better on guys or girls? Girls. <clears throat> well, you ready here first, boys. I'm with... Tavion Mills. Tavion Mills. And uh, how do you feel about jeans and sandals together, man? 
Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I really like it. Why's that? I don't know. Just, just not my, not my style. Well, there it is, guys. <laughs> now those right there, that's my style. That's my style. Thanks, Brendan and Dinesh, for that information. Now over to the sports desk with Taylor and Jace. This is Carson Twaits. Jaden Smallwood. The RHS Sports. Congratulations to the hockey team on winning the state championship this year. They were recently recognized at Nashville's Predators game for their accomplishment. Carson Twaits caught up with a few of the hockey players, and here's what they had to say. Hi, I'm Carson Twaits with RHS TV here with Christian. Christian, uh, could you tell me a little bit about your season? Like, what was the record? Uh, our record was 29-1-2. Uh, and two. Um, We won state this year. Had a lot of fun. How'd you feel when you won state? Uh, it was awesome to win with the team. Uh, it was a great memory with my dad, and we had a lot of fun. How do you think the upcoming hockey team is going to be? Uh, we got a young team, but I think that's a good thing. Uh, they'll progress throughout the years, and they'll have some pretty good success. All right, thank you very much, Christian. Thanks, Carson. Our softball and baseball teams are off to a great start. Our baseball team travels to Wilson Central tonight at 6, and softball hosts Davidson Academy tonight, JV starting at 4.30, and varsity starting at 6. Jaden went out and asked more about how their season is going. Hi, I'm Jaden Smallwood here with RHS baseball player Connor Patton. So, Connor, what position do you play in baseball? Uh, pitcher and outfield. So, can you give us a little update on how the season's going? Well, JV's killing it right now. We're 10 and 2. Uh, and then varsity, we're uh, hanging in there. It's a process, but by the time of April and the playoffs come around, we're going to be at the top of our game. This is Jaden Small with RHS TV signing out. Thanks, guys, and great job to all the baseball and softball players who have started their seasons off winning. The rugby team is undefeated in regular season play. Now let's hear from some of our own Raptor players about how their season is going. Hi, I'm Carson Twaits with RHS TV here with Brooke Brown. Uh, Brooke, can you tell us about the RHS girls rugby team? Yeah, we're um, undefeated right now. We're, uh, we have a couple more games until we play the championship game, so... So, so they're doing pretty good. All right, back to you at the station. Jace, who are you going for in the North Carolina Villanova game? I was going for the North Carolina uh, Tar Heels, actually. Oh, so you were upset when they lost? I mean, a little bit. Me and my family were probably crying for a good 10 minutes, but after that we were fine. <laughs> How did you feel about that three-point shot to win the game? I mean, uh, I mean, you know, Clyde McPherson makes those all the time, so it's just whatever. Now back to you all at the desk. Thanks guys and good luck to all our sports. Have you ever wondered what goes into making RHS TV's newscast? Susanna and Haley got behind the scenes to show what it really takes to make a newscast possible. I'm Haley with RHS TV and I'm here to inform you about what happens behind the scenes when making the newscast. Welcome to F185 RHS TV. Hi, I'm here with Samantha and Clay, our two anchors for the week. Tell us about what you guys are doing. Well, right now we are getting all the uh, topics together that we need to include in our script this week. So right now we're just going over a little overview right now of what we need. If you want to look at that. What's the next step? We're going to start writing the script and organizing that exactly to perfection for the newscast, yeah. Awesome, good luck you guys. Next we're going to talk to Tanner who's working on the intro for this week's newscast. Tell us about the current process on the intro. It's going pretty good. We did it last week but we're trying to improve on what we already have and make sure it's great for this week's newscast. Awesome. Now we're going to talk to the guys who make everything happen behind the camera. Hi, I'm here with Max and Jacob, our GRIPS for the newscast. Tell us a little about what you guys do. Well, as GRIPS, we adjust the lighting, we move the cameras, we move the desk, make sure everything's clean for the broadcast. We pretty much the life and blood of the broadcasting department. 
yeah, we're basically like the janitors of broadcasting. Um, we kind of clean up everything around the place. Cool, great job. All right, it is Tuesday, day two of making the newscast, and everyone is frantically running around trying to record their things and get this stuff together. So let's go see everyone's progress. All right, let's go check on Tanner. Hi, I'm here with... Hey, I'm Tanner. Tell us a little about your job for this week's newscast. Um, I clean up around here, make sure all the wires are taped down so then nobody trips over them. Um, make it so then nobody um, gets hurt, etc. Good, thank you so much for your effort. I'm here with Josh Butler, our After Effects prodigy. This is the guy who is always editing all of our stuff and putting everything together. And <laughs> right now he's making the credits. So do you have anything you want to say, Josh? No, I don't. All right, well, he's in charge of the credits, so have fun watching the credits. Hey everyone, it's Haley. It's day three of working on the newscast for this week. The anchors are currently filming and everyone else is editing their projects since they filmed earlier in the week. Let's go see how everyone's doing. I'm here with Bethany, our director for this week's newscast. Tell us a little about what you've been doing. So uh, this week for the newscast, we put together our ideas on this board right behind me and we all brainstorm together. And then my job after that is just to put all of the newscast together. Thank you. I'm here with Taylor. She's our sports anchor for this week. Tell us about what you've been doing. Um, let's see, we've been going around and getting interviews, um, mainly about how hockey just won state. We've been asking some of the baseball players and softball players about their season this year, and we also have been getting interviews about rugby and how their season's going. Awesome, can't wait to see the package. It's day four of working on the newscast. It's going to be aired tomorrow, so everyone's making last minute changes and updates to their packages. Let's go take one last look around. Next, we're going to go to the man who makes it all happen. I'm here with Mr. Shoemake, the broadcasting teacher. Mr. Shoemake, tell us about what your involvement is in making the newscast each week. Um, well, I don't have to do a lot because all the kids actually do everything. Uh, the, only, the main thing is what I do is um, just make sure that everything is, um, everything that we put on the air is suitable for our kids and just make sure everything's running smoothly. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed watching what it takes to make the newscast each week. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week. Thank you, Suzanne and Haley, for showing us an inside look into our, the creation of our newscast. The voter registration drive is coming up next Tuesday. Neil, Mitch, and Chad give us more information for this event. Oh, hey, Ravenwood High School students. This is your neighborhood-friendly counselor, Tim Gillian, here to remind you that registration for voting is going to be happening here at Ravenwood High School. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Normally, you have to drive far away to stand in a long line for hours. Here at Ravenwood, you get to do it during your lunch period. It takes just a few minutes. It's on April 12th, registration. So what does that do? It allows you to vote in this upcoming election. If you're going to college next year, it's important to register this upcoming Tuesday to make sure that you register in person. That way next year while you're at college, you can fill out an absentee ballot and mail it in so that your vote is accounted for. It's important to register to vote because the turnout for voters age 18 through 24 in Tennessee was only 38% in the last election. On average, only 29% of Tennesseans show up to vote. This equals out to be about one in every four Tennesseans show up to vote in any given election. We're really trying to increase that statistic here. Um, if we had the entire senior class uh, register to vote here, uh, that would be a huge difference in Tennessee's vote for president. To clarify, the Raven Voter Registration Drive will be held April 12th and you'll meet in the Commons during 5th period during junior and senior lunches. I'll see you there.
Well, that's it for this week. Remember, this upcoming Monday is a Power Monday, so be prepared to sleep in if you can. With RHS TV, I'm Clay Patterson. I'm Morgan Powers. And I'm Samantha Maggart. See you all next week. Have a great and safe weekend. <laughs>